Hello everyone, Hilary here of Scrappy Mommy and I would just like to introduce a new product that I'll be putting up on my online store and it will be available on my website, on my Etsy shop as well as on my Facebook page and it will be the 3D paper crafts and the first one is this luggage box that I made so I'll be selling the SVG cut files and then I'll be also having pre-order for the kits. So if you have cutting machines, then you can purchase the cut files. But if you want to make this box and you don't have any cutting machines, then you can pre-order a kit. So the kit are pre-cut for you. All you need to do is assemble the box. Like this one, you can choose from two kits the first kit includes the plain box and also the matting for the box like this for example is from my previous client and she used this box uh, as a loot box and for her um, son's first birthday and the theme was airport theme so this is the design that I made for her for the box Um, these are stickers I printed it on a sticker and then this is the design that we customized for her so if you want we can include that on your kit if you want us to um, make the design for your box we can customize and personalize that for you if you want so um, like the other um, option that you can choose from is only the plain the plain box with no matting the matting is not included like this one only this um, um, papers or the pre-cut papers but if you want to use your own pattern paper so you can purchase this one with no matting okay just to be clear so um this box or this kit is for minimum order of 30 pieces for each kit so this box you can use this box as loot box you can open it and then you can put um, light objects inside I only have this chocolate chip it fits perfectly inside then you can add some chocolates candies some goodies that you want to put inside and then you can close it and then you can still um, carry it like this so all you need to do is assemble the box for this box i use this paper from prestige that i purchased from a local bookstore here and this is a letter size paper with 220 gsm and then the other box i use a 12 by 12 80 pound cardstock craft cardstock okay guys so for more information if you wanna purchase the cut files or pre-order a kit just visit my facebook page all the information are there and to be able to assemble the box you have to go to my channel because i'll be putting all the tutorials here on my channel okay guys so if you wanna um know the how i made this box please keep on watching and for the um cut files there will be um three different papers available for you to choose from from 12 by 12 paper a4 paper and then um, legal size paper for this um box with the pattern paper i used this 12 by 12 paper pack that I just showed you <laughs> and I also add some tag and few embellishments that from the collection and I, I can also add some tags if you want on your kit depending on the design that you want 
so I'm gonna show you how I made this box and for this box you need um, a glue I used uh, a Lins quick dry tacky glue for this and then I use some string and then you need a bone folder for burnishing so I will show you now how I made this box so for this box I use the 12 by 12 paper for the first you you'll need three cardstock for this 12 by 12 paper and the first paper you have these pieces for the second paper you will have these pieces and then this piece and then for the third paper you'll have the matting for your box the pattern paper and then I use this paper pack this is 12 by 12 and I will just show you real quick the papers at and it include some die cuts and cut aparts I thought it has some stickers but it just in um, but it's just cut aparts so first grab the front side of the box this is the front side it is smaller than the other piece And grab your pattern paper that you want to want to place on the front side of your box so this will be the front if you want you can ink up the edges but I forgot to do that so I didn't do that for my paper so I use this glue so let's apply some glue on the pattern paper And I use a paper clip. A straight, I straighten it out just to spread the glue, or you can use a toothpick because I don't want any glue popping out on the side. That's why I spread the glue. So you have some guide. You have a guide on your box on where to place your pattern paper. I will show you a photo of the guideline that you will see on your box because I, my camera won't focus so I didn't show it but this is the photo okay guys you will place your pattern paper inside the score lines or the perforated lines and then grab your the other piece this is the back side of the box and then another pattern paper that you wanna place at the back of your box so let's apply some glue so you will not go over your score lines or your perforated lines just inside those lines okay guys there are guide uh, the guide is there the one that I showed you earlier that's where you will place your pattern paper so let's burnish and then you have to adhere the sides the pattern paper on the sides you just have to line it up with the front side matting
So just line it up with the front side matting and don't go over the perforated lines or the score lines. Just um, follow the guide, okay guys? So it will be in the center. And then burnish. And then grab the top piece, pattern paper, apply glue and adhere it on your box, on the top side of your box as shown. Just follow your guidelines, okay? So there are front and back side of the box. Now you have to fold on your score lines or your perforated lines. For me, I want the embossed, the more embossed line on the inside of the box. So fold it with your pattern paper outside, okay guys? your pattern paper facing outside so fold on your score lines burnish and then you will see four flaps two at the top and two at the bottom so you just have to fold it and then adhere on the side of the box the flaps will be inside the box so let's apply some glue then fold and then adhere on the side so the flaps will be inside the box then burnish Then these two at the top and then just fold front and back then the handle fold it like that
Then burnish. So there, that's the back side of our box. And then grab the front side and fold on your score lines. So the pattern paper will be facing outside, okay? And then fold on the score lines. And then there are two flaps at the top. So you have to apply glue and then adhere it on the side of the box. So the flap will be inside the box. Just like the first one we did. Like so. Then burnish. And then grab the back side and then the flap at the bottom you will adhere it on the bottom side of the back side of the box like so so you have to put glue in that line it up like this and then push your front side inside like so so the flap of the front side is at the bottom like so so you play, um, apply some glue Then adhere it and burnish. I like to open my box so I can burnish it. So there. And then before um, adhering the belt, you need to grab the pattern paper that you will place at the bottom of the box guys so on this video as you can see i started i started adhering the belts but before that guys please um grab the pattern paper that you will place at the bottom and adhere that one first because at this time i forgot about that but I will remember when I already um, adhere this belt before I stick down the bottom part <laughs> I'm sorry about that so there are also um, score lines for the belt and you have to fold on that and then burnish So the shorter one goes at the front, like this one. This is the shorter um, belt. It goes on the front, like so. The shorter side is at the bottom. You also have guide for that on your pattern paper. There are guidelines on that and I will show you the photo of that, this one.
that's where you play where you will place the belts and the buckle so let's apply some glue So on the front going to the bottom so here you will see that I made a mistake attaching this belt first before the pattern paper so before you adhere this belt you have to adhere the bottom pattern paper first okay there you go so adhere that first before the belts. Now you can attach the belt, then the other piece. You can attach the buckle first if you want. Just follow the guidelines on your pattern paper. Or you can adhere the belt that you will place at the back of your box to the top. Or from the top up to the back of your box there are also um, score lines there so you have to fold on your score lines So you just have to apply glue from here up to the bottom. Don't place glue from the first um, part.
we will apply glue only on this part as you can see right here so that goes on the top and the side with no glue on the front side of the box okay guys so the sides with the glue you will adhere it on the top and on the back the front side is free of any adhesives okay guys then let's just burnish So you just need to apply glue from this side up to the bottom. And then grab the buckle and adhere it on the front. Just follow your guide guidelines, guys, okay? So, for the buckle, you have to place, uh, or sorry, apply glue on the top and on the sides. Don't apply glue on the bottom like so okay So the bottom of the buckle don't have any don't have any glue because that's where you will insert the belt. So now you can insert your this one on the buckle and then you have these two small pieces apply some glue and adhere it a little bit higher on the buckle and then fold the opposite sides to the back fold it to the back There you go. So now you can decorate your box.
so that's how i made this box and i hope you all like it and if you're interested to purchase the kit or the cut files all the links are the, in the description box and also please visit my facebook page for more information and also please follow me on my instagram account and i just added some few embellishments on this box some die cuts and some cut aparts from the collection there's n um, not much to choose from so i just made few so if you like this video please give a thumbs up comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button so you will be notified for my new videos thank you for watching guys till my next video bye